Hey, hey, everybody, welcome to the stream. Today, we're out on Africa, beta testing these beasts. Look at that. Look straight out, and there's a gem spot. That's what we're testing today, people. That is the new animal on Africa. So I brought a friend. Hey, Reedy, how's it going? Hello, hello. Good, good. Good, good. All right. Good, good. Let's go out and shoot some of these gem spot. They're a beautiful looking animal. I'll give it to them. I was hoping for Eland, I really was, but Jim's box nice. And while we're doing that, I will say hello to everyone in the room. And we had John Pat was first in the room, followed by Riggy. Thanks, Riggy. You're a legend. Followed by Nez Evans and Killer Bee. Now, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to say this right. It's either Cranky Ty or Cranky Yeti. One of the two, but uh, either one. Welcome to the stream, buddy. Thanks for tuning in. Frank Venero is here. How you doing? And of course, Wolverine's here as well. Hey, how's it going? And Dazza MM65. Well, welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to Africa. And uh, yeah, come have a look at this new new beastie. It's a beautiful looking animal. I'll give it that. And hopefully the stream's going all right. All I've got is a uh, spinning circle on mine, but that's that's not too Spinning circle. Spinning, no, there you go. It's, it's rolling again. It's rolling again. Springbok out there too. Eh, we don't want Springbok. We want a Gemsbok. Now I know there is what one is out there. Gemsbok. We did see it. Well, we saw it. I saw it off the roof of the cabin. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so I'm going to try and screenshot as many as I can for Gadiga. Okay. Yep. Yep. <laughs> definitely. Get him the for old his, um, for his spreadsheet. Spreadsheet. He yes. I know the weight. The weight variations. So try and get as many as I can and send them to him. While we're out and about today, yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, I went and got a few photos this morning. They're uh, they're not too hard to sneak up on, to be honest. I managed to get no, about right, twenty feet of them off the bike. I actually found a really good spot where you can corral. I had, I think I had three of the gem box, three water buffalo, half a dozen pigs, and uh, kudu and springbok all stuck in one area. I was just popping them all off. Well, I know there's going to be gem box down by that lake but I want to see if I can come around the back you know, the top side of that lake so that lake there is the one I'm talking about folks I want to see if I can come around the top side and come back in this way because I know there's a gems box out there Mrs. B welcome to the stream how are you today good to see you how's that household going with the uh, with the beard off hunting that dog better be listening to you. <laughs> I know it almost, almost, well, could have possibly escaped yesterday, but it didn't. So, that's, that's a good thing, because, you know, if, if Dizzy escapes, well, yeah, chasing that dog down the street's not going to be fun. We've got Gems Bop footprints here. Yeah, they're all leading towards that lake, which is where I thought they'd be. I just wanted to see if this other one was actually going to be standing out here in the open. Hey, what was you? What are you? You're a, you're a kudu or a, or a springbok? No, you're a kudu. Less of kudu. Yeah. The less of the kudu that we see, the better. See what I did there? Like that? No? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and Sean Johns is in the house. Hey, Sean, how are you, buddy? Welcome to the stream. And Tim Rank as well. And Tim Rank stopped in as well. Welcome, Tim. How are you? For all of those on console, I do apologise and I am sorry. Um, Unfortunately, it's yeah hasn't been put out on console release yet. Oh, Blue Wildebeest as well. Crikey, we've got it all down here today. Um, okay. It is just a test for the PC players at the moment, but uh, from what I can see, it's um, it's pretty good. It hasn't got too many major issues or any issues at all that I've seen, to be honest. Um, they seem to travel well. They drop well. I shot a Cape Buffalo at 300. Um. There's a blonde something over to the left of north behind the trees over there. To I the just left. saw a white. There's a blonde something. something. Well, it's probably a um, it's probably one of these things we're looking for. Gem box. It's probably a gem spot because apparently the white is the normal color, and then it has grey. And I don't know of any other uh, rare fur variations yet. I haven't actually seen any. And it's Ernesto Espida Espida, welcome to the channel, buddy. Welcome to the stream. How's it going? 
And what did Mrs. B say? She doesn't listen. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't miss out on going to a friend's house because of your dog, Mrs. B. Jeez, no. That's that's what um, choker chains and collars are for. Collar her up, tie her up, and go out. She's going to have to learn that, you know... Oh, there goes the gym spot just running up the hill. And there's one just to the right or north. I don't Gone see now... Trees. I don't know if they respond to any callers. So, anyone in... Anyone in, um chat know if they respond to the callers or anything um please let us know because yeah i could imagine it would either be the snot weasel or the antler rattler but i don't know well probably the snot weasel i would say oh up the back up the back to the i can uh, see where you mark that northeast there's two that's so i'm just going to take Greeny, that one. They're very small too, aren't they? Look at that. And there's another 100 one. 100 to 135 is one trivial. Yeah, four easy. Just ran over the top of the hill. Um, you won't keep her locked up that long, Mrs. B. Okay, fair enough. Um, sometimes yeah, they've just got to be locked up that long if you want to go out though, because she just seems to be one of those uh, escape artists. Oh, hello, what's that? Is that a... Oh, look at that. Look at them all just standing here. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Crack on that one. That's a... That's... That's... We want that one. I want that big one at the back. Antler Rattler, says Wolverine. And yeah, well... Seems to... Uh, I hate photos. Give me a second. Yeah, you're right. You are all good, my friend. I just want... The one with the big horns. That, that that one there. That's that's. I don't even know how far away they are. Um, they are 160 from me. 105 from me. So uh, no wrong gun. That's a 243. We're going to try to shoot him with a 243. That probably won't work all that well. No, and I'll take one as well. Um, it's the one I want at the back. That's a four, there's but the one I want at the back. There's a couple of fours. Yeah, the one I want is that one there. Take the other four then. All right, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, go. Oh, well, I hit him, and he's dead. Beautiful. Mine's mine's just cruising around. It's not actually running. It was just walking. Okay. Oh well, we'll wander up and have a look and see how we go. And so far, Wolverine reckons all the diamonds have been level for females. Well, there you go. And I know Non got a 913 level. 913. Level for female, which was quite surprising. But um, there you and go. And I have noticed with the weight ranges, yeah, it's a strange system because, like I said direct earlier before the stream, some of the level 3 males are actually the same weight as a level four female, which doesn't, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, I hit him. Non-vitals at Regan. Non-vital, my bum. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, this stupid animal? I don't think I hit this one at all. I definitely hit mine, and it definitely- Mine was doing stupid stuff. It wasn't even running. It was sort of sliding across the ground. Yeah, well, that's what mine did, but all I've got is blood tracks now, no... Oh, I don't no, know. No blood, footprints. I've just got footprints. Got no footprints. There's footprints I've over there. I've got footprints, no blood, so that's pretty handy. And which way are they going? They are going that way, yeah, see now. I don't know. And say... Coviet 66 is in the house, welcome to the stream, Coviet. Well, one of them died. Yeah, yeah, the one that I shot, and it should be... Here, somewhere. From yeah, what my I'm... footprints have disappeared. Oh, there we go. I've got footprints again. There we go. We'll see if we can track this thing down. First few I shot were real, real easy. They just There's sort of lay down and died. I well, see that, and that goes back the other way. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Well, Some... Have you got blood? I had a blood trail. I got nothing else though. Oh no, here's a bit more blood. Wow. 
Oh, well, it, wow. is the, it is the beta test. Yep. It is the beta test. These are the things that we are here to test and find out. And John says, throw your thongs at it next time. There you go. There's one up here that's a female. Yeah, that'll be the one that I shot. Yeah. It's female should've... level four. See, I took the male level four, which it didn't die. Yeah, see, now the female, which is what non commented on the other day, actually has a bigger rack than the males. Yep. They've got longer horns, and apparently that's how it is in real life, too. Uh, the males just have thicker horns. The females have longers. So, I don't know. It's a bit odd. Don't know. But, hey, these, these weird, weird, African, uh, weird African species. Look at the rack on it, though. Oh, Monster nonsense. Long horns. You could use it for a spare. You Imagine could. the amount of marshmallows you could get on that while you were roasting it over the fire. Wow. There's a couple of packs of marshmallows in there. Let's see what we got. And yes, you can do the multiplayer on the beta. <laughs> intestines and intestines. So I hit her in the back end both times, which is a shame. She was a 745 silver with no quick kill. 189 kilos. Look at them. They're just a beautiful looking animal, but that rack. Oh. Um, and yeah, because of the way this beta is set up, Wolverine, I actually got to transfer my save over. Thank you very much to Zaggy DK and uh, Non Inspirational for the help with transferring that over. Um, 215 kilo male, um, which allowed me to, of course, keep all my weapons, all my money. Uh, the only thing I lost, obviously, was the map itself. You had to go out and get all the uh, all the outposts and everything again. That was a 901 with a quick kill? Yeah. Yeah, it was my bad for shooting at that angle. I probably shouldn't have bothered, but... Oh, well. You know how it is. It moved. It offended me. It needed to die. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Pick up the droppings and get the rest then. It's pretty unique. Pretty unique. What did they pick up? Droppings and got a rest zone? Yep, picked up the poo and got a rest zone. <coughs> I didn't. That's about the only way to go and get a porker that won't attack you there, John. Go and buy it from Coles. That's it. <laughs> Coles or Woolies. <laughs> Whacker in the oven. No problems from the porker going on there. Now, I want to um, hunt some buffalo again today, too, because after shooting that one at 300 meters yesterday and it just dropping and dying, like, it didn't run, it did nothing. I, it, I shot it with a 338 and it dropped and died on the spot. That's, I think, one, oh, of nice. the, one of the first ones that I've killed from any further than about 50 meters. So, with the, uh, with the change to the, um, I'm not sure what they changed, to be honest. They changed something. Or you just got a good shot. Um, at 300 meters, have you ever shot a buffalo and had it die? I haven't even tried. Oh, look, we've got lesser kudus over there. I don't even try at 150 meters. I'm going to shoot one I, of these I things. I have given up on the buffalo. I'm going to shoot one of these things and see. Well, maybe not. Actually, we'll go over to that bush and see if we can get them back. Because I want to see if I've got any level 4 diamonds on my map with the kudus. I haven't found one yet. Except it's not your map. That is a good point. So it's not going to matter. But I'll find out anyway. They should. I never saw any level 4 diamond kudus. No. On my map, ever. No. So, but then my um, save files corrupted anyway. Yeah, well that is true. Your save file always has had issues ever since you uh, tried to join that game while you were... Loading. Loading the game. And Wolverine, yeah, 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 definitely a lot easier than starting over with a 243 and nothing else. Jeez, I couldn't have imagined trying to come out and hunt these animals with that. Well, I think that's why they give you all that hunt club points, see? Yeah, it's no good if it doesn't give you any money, though, is it? And like Sean said yesterday, he went out and bought a 4570. grand as well. Yeah, he bought a 4570 and then couldn't afford to buy the scope for it. No. So, you know. but then to be honest, you'd only buy the 243 and the 270. 
Well, the 243 you get free. Well, so yeah, you just buy a 270 or even the 7 mil. Oh, 7 mil, you probably wouldn't have enough money either. I don't no, know. 7 mil's going to be 45 grand as well, I think, doesn't it? 48. 48, right. there you go. If not more. No, no, yeah, I don't know. What's this kudu are going to come back for me? Stupid things. Hello, let's kudu. Where did you go? I don't know why you ran away in the first place. Oh, yeah, they're coming. There's oh, yeah. our level two. Cool. See if we can get a level four to pop and this ugly little head out. And stand in this bush over there. Three. And yes, Mrs. B, the two four three is a great gun. A lot of time was spent with the 243 when I first started this game. In fact, I do actually have it on me today because it is still one of those guns. It's handy for a lot of things. Oh, here we go. Here's another level 2 female. Where's this? This is silly 4. I just want this 4 to come in and see what it's going to be. Um, the 4's at the back where I just pointed out the other one over there. Hang on, Wolverine right, wants on. me to say the next time. Hey, look at that. I don't know if it's got an alien in its belly, but it's not using its legs. It was just sliding. Oh, I had that before. Yep, just a just sliding that, kudu. But Wolverine wants me to... There you go, look, there goes another one. Look at this. Hey, slidings. One right beside us here. That's pretty flash on a kudu behalf. Um, he wants me to look at them and see if they've got aliens in their bellies. Oh, look at that. They don't need legs, so I'm guessing, yep, they've got aliens in their bellies. Um, oh, they're all walking for me. There it is, right, there's, that's a three. No, that's a three. I want a four. Where's a four? Yeah, they're walking now. I any fours. Yeah, there is a four there. Yeah, there's none that came back, though. No okay. four that came back. It's all twos and threes. Well, I'm going to shoot this three. And now they're all standing there looking at you. That was a really delayed reaction from them. It was, it was. That was very, very delayed. Wow. <laughs> I and... did notice that their reaction time seemed a lot slower. Like I was riding around on the motorbike this morning, getting all the outposts, and I was actually coming up on the animals, stopping, getting off the bike, taking an aim and shooting the animal. That's yep. how slow they were. Yep, yep. Oh, wow, you need to change your reaction. Gilmo Savita, first diamond was a level four kudu. Yeah, yeah, they were um they were quite pre prevalent. Um, I never actually saw a level four diamond kudu on my map. I still haven't seen a level four diamond kudu. But what I do get um, is a lot of level threes that are very high up in the trophy rating, like that, a nine thirty seven level three. So, okay, there are still level 4 diamonds out on this map, even though it's not mine, because, yeah. Yeah, there could be. Yep, that was... that was. I haven't shot a lot of kudu, but like I said, any level 4 that I've seen so far has not been a diamond. Yeah, well, that was a 9.37 on a level 33, so... Uh, it's not to say they're not there. There's a level 4 right there. We'll see if we can get him and see what he's going to be then. 63 to 77 kilo. I can get him to uh, pop his head out so I can take it off. Where'd you go? Where you go? I saw you. Went down to that valley. Oh, I can hear it. Well, ah, do do. I'm not sure if it's the one that I want, but I can hear them. And mine look different to yours, Wolverine. Belly's all stretched out. Okay. No stretched out bellies on these ones. What's up, ugly? Who's your mate? I want your boyfriend, not you. Oh, there he is. As he alien slides away. Wow. They just do not like using their legs today. No. Nah. That's that him? Three. 
No, nah, it's a level three. Wow, I don't know if that's just the beta or what, but I've never had my kudu do things like that before. Just slide. Wow, well, I think it's with all the animals at the moment. Oh, there's the fault. I got him. Uh, no, I want this gun here. I want that Number gun four. there. Oh, you're a cheeky sod. He's down now. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Maybe that's just the beta. Oh, that is Gems Bok. Level 4 male. To the southwest I've marked him on the hill. There's a heap of them. Southwest? Oh yeah, way over there. Oh yep, they're all lying down. There's, there's, look at that. Okay, we're we'll going to pick up this uh, kudu and then we can... Oh, see, I don't know if the wind's going to be good to head in that direction. We can Probably try. Not. I just want to find out if this is going to be a diamond. Sup, you dumbass. And it's a gold 946. So that's more like it. That's more like it. 77 so kilos. Running around in circles over there, above you. Oh, Up yeah. The oh, I said Got before, the, le the less of the kudu we see, the better. Yeah, yeah, that's um, that's that's what I was thinking, Wolverine. It it was it looked like it could have been fairly close, but I'm happy it wasn't a diamond. That means that I still have to find a level five kudu, which I'm quite happy to uh, go looking for a level five. Now, these guys seem to answer to the antler rattler earlier. Whether they will again, we're story. about a kilometer out at the moment. Ah, oh. are we? So yeah. Oh. So if we come down to the left-hand side of those trees, it says I'm only about 300 meters out from. Them. Well, mine's even a kilometer. The bushes are 300 meters on the hill. But yeah, as soon as you go and try and mark them. Thank you, Mrs. B. And I missed his stomach. It was stretched out on mine. Oh, there you go. I just probably didn't take a lot of notice <laughs> uh, that's a mating call from the gem spot yep in the tree line yeah straight in the wind too oh sort of to the edge I've come around well I'm glad you saw it Niz because yeah I'll have mm. to go back and watch the um, watch my stream a bit later and see what happens I don't know why it's stretched out maybe they have got aliens alien babies not really sure on that one. I to say, it is so freaking hot today too. Very it's hot. It's ridiculous. And I can't have my windows open because they face the street. And my street's now a racetrack. It used to be a nice quiet street. People moved in, now it's a racetrack. Some morons moved in. Yep. They flash BMWs and everything else and just want to race now. Yeah. Phase bring it. Hi, you're new. Well, welcome to the stream, my friend. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, I just got a nice cool breeze for a second there. That was lovely. Um, yeah, I'll trade places anytime, Mrs. B. You know that. I'll take the cold over the heat anytime. You can always put on more clothes. You can only strip till you're naked. And the neighbours don't like that. Uh, not quite as bad as Tengo's House Killer. Um, I don't think there's much on the planet that's quite as bad as the people that ride up and down Tengo Street. <laughs> that's, that's pretty wild, I'll, I'll say that. Um, oh look, there's a gems block up there. And they're all doing the uh, slide thing too. Okay, so maybe it is just the beta. And for those of you that are new... Well, I've got one here, 70 metres out. Such as Faze. Right um, below my video, or if one of my mods would kindly stick it in there, there is a Discord to join. Um, 
get in there it's as has been said on the chat there the best call of the wild community out there so far oh okay it's down it's down it's dead it's a dead one who's a um, dead one looks like he was about one of the only ones that was still up here no there were heaps of them i was oh, standing was there looking at a whole friggin um a whole bunch of them oh, okay this little fella was only like well not little he was a four Cinnabon cinnamon rolls for dinner, Sean. That's the way. Cinnabon cinnamon rolls for dinner. <laughs> wow. Uh, as long as you're not like Homer and just, uh, you know, unspool it into it my into. mouth until there is nothing left. That's a grey one. That's lovely. Might as well pick him up. Okay. Mm. Let's the horns fall off on the ground. <laughs> hey, hey, have I got my consex? Uh, I don't know because oh, it won't yeah. let me pick it up. Well, eight eleven gold, so I'm guessing. Yep. And they just look like a donkey with no <laughs> with no horns <laughs> on them. <laughs> it, it's a mule or an oh, ass, one wow. of the two. <laughs> Should I'm you get the sure game, West. Um, FaZe, if you like the hunting games, I don't know if you've played Hunter Classic or anything like that. Um, it's, yeah, it's a fantastic game. I'm going to take one of these out with the 338. So I'm pretty sure that's what Zaggy was hunting them with earlier on his video. And I just uh, want to okay. see. <laughs> yep, it's dead. Um... Quickly got a screenshot of that before you shot it. Too. Oh, nice. Sorry, <laughs> I keep forgetting you're getting screenshots. But that, it, they're all two hundred five to two forty. Yeah. So that's level four. I don't know. I've got a few level threes, level one, but I haven't seen any fives. And now uh, Wolverine. No, they do just slide regardless of whether you're looking at them with your knockies or not. It just seems to be something that maybe is in the beta. I don't know. Um, but yeah, FaZe, look, honestly, if you enjoy any sort of hunting or simulation game, I've got close to a thousand hours in this. A lot of the members of our community, the uh, Discord community that I mentioned earlier, have got past a thousand hours in this. It is an absolute fantastic game. Yeah, I've really got 820 is. now. And they keep adding more content all the time. I mean, crikey, we only got ducks, what? A month ago. A month ago. Month and here we are getting it. another new animal. They have said it's that... It's going to ramp up. Yep. Everything that is in Classic, if they can bring it over, they will bring it over. So, yeah. There's a lot to add. And look at that. That's full consecutives and full integrity with a 338. So, wow. You take them out with the same gun you can kill a buffalo with. That's pretty cool. Nice. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we'll keep well, they are well. a decent sized animal. Yeah, yeah, I would have thought the 4570 or the 7 mil. A medium, I'd call that a large animal. Yeah, 200 kilos. 240. Yeah, but Red Deer are, you know, 200 to 242, and you can only take them with a 7 mil. Oh, look, there goes a the skitter. There you go, Wolverine. I'm not looking through monoculars, and look at it go. Yeah, it's running normal for me. Nope, it's sliding. It's doing the slide. No, it's doing a normal run for me, so that's weird. Yep. And see, that's a two, uh, 170 to 205. Look at it go. With a rating of 205 to 256. Look at it go. It doesn't know what it wants to do. It's sliding on its backside. <laughs> Missed. Missed. <laughs> Duck just as I went to shoot. Yep, Ricky didn't Not miss that. Time. <laughs> uh, well, if you're a big gamer phase, then um, yeah, by all means, jump in. It's, uh, I believe, the 2019 version has every DLC up to the ducks. It just doesn't include the ducks, which is the newest of the DLCs. But you'll get Medved, Leighton Lakes, Hirschfelden, Bunny Rabbits, uh, Africa. Um, yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely worth it. It is. You, you're right there, Killer B. Are you out for a rip, are you, bud? Stayed for a rip, eh? 
Not no more. Not no more. Good no. cash rewards for him too. 1367. 1367, that's not bad. There you go. That was a 724 silver. Mm. But yeah, they all seem to be out for a rip today, killer. I don't know what the go with that is. Whether that's just because we're multiplaying on a beta server or not. Because as Ricky said, yeah, that seems to be fine for him. They're some running. Of them are running for me, but other times they're doing that cruise along the ground for me as well, so I don't know. And face is okay when he knows what he's getting for Christmas. Excellent. And 30 star. You can still hunt the ducks, won't have access to the blinds and the decoys. That's right. You don't get decoys or blinds, and you don't get the um, shotguns. Hey, look. Shotgun. 16, uh, 12 gauge? No, what are they? 20 gauge. 20 gauge shotties, yeah. Little 20 gauge shotties. Semi automatic so you'll have shotguns. To just use the 12 gauge. Which isn't a problem. Um, yeah, well, there you go, Sean. I don't understand that. I sort of saw Zaggy's video today, and it had the 338 as the best gun for the gems, Bob. And I thought that was a bit strange because you're right, gems bock are only classed as a level three animal. That's why They're I level thought. Four. Eh? Oh, are they yeah. level three? Are they? They're a level three animal, whereas the 338 is a level four gun. That's what confused me because, yeah, theoretically, you should only be able to take it with the seven mil or the good old 4570. And that's what I've been shooting with the 4570. But, um,. Yeah, I've got the 338 purely in case we see some buffaloes. Because, yeah, I was quite impressed being able to knock over a buffalo at uh, 300 metres with it and have it just fall down dead. It was really nice. And yes, Keller, those shotguns are wicked. The semi-automatic, oh, they're awesome. They're pretty much the same as you get when you buy the Magpie Goose DLC or the Magpie Goose setup in Classic. You get a 20 gauge semi-automatic, pretty much exactly the same with the swamp camo and everything. And uh, yeah, they're an amazing gun. A lot of fun. But you're right, the Ducks came out in 2018, so it should have gone into the 2018 um, edition, or 2019 edition, or whatever it is that they're calling it these days. I don't know, they change the names on things all the time. Um, but I think they just want to... Uh, I don't know, add everything else in and then, yeah, any DLCs from now on, including the ducks, are an extra. Just like to say, it's a bit of a shame, but it is the way it goes. Yes. You got your first diamond duck yesterday, Ferdy? Second diamond total? Well done, man. Well done. Well done. I haven't got a diamond duck yet. I have a diamond duck. I did find a diamond duck. Got lucky. Sort of was sitting in Willapeg just waiting for me. Um, if you I do want to have. That is a wildebeest, too. Yeah, well, see, I don't have a diamond wildebeest. I have a diamond kudu, but I don't have a wildebeest. And honestly, if you want some um, some good advice on how to get diamonds, Ferdy, check out Jaxi Bear's channel. Sean Johns, Jaxi Bear, myself, this man over here, Ricky Racer. Um, Flinter the Hunter and of course Zaggy DK but Jaxie has a couple of special videos on how to set up diamond alleys um, all that sort of stuff so uh, yeah ah if you're on the Xbox the game store has the original without the DLCs for free wow okay John wow. that's pretty cool and then you've just got to buy the DLCs. And this is all this talk of Duck Max and wants to go and get Chinese. Mm. <laughs> I've only got to walk out my front door of a night time and I want to go and get Chinese. You can smell it for miles around here. Chinese and Thai. It's just, yeah, oh, it's, it's so bad. Down the road. Yeah, it's so bad to walk outside. <coughs> It's still after your diamond, John. Yep. Honestly, they, um, I got my first one just, it was pure ass, is all I'm going to say. I walked around a corner, there was a deer, it looked nice, I shot it, it was a diamond. I didn't even spot it, I didn't know what level it was, uh, I still to this day couldn't tell you what level, whether it was a four or a five, 
I don't know. Now look at that. What did you think of the new uh, the new HUD Rigi, the new inventory system? Look at I that. I like it. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that so clean and well done? Tells you everything you need to go: magazine size, hip shots, accuracy. It is just fantastic. I am just absolutely thrilled with the. Uh, there you go. It tells you whether it's a DLC or not. Yeah, absolutely thrilled with the new way that they've done the HUD. It is fantastic. But did you notice too? If you click on your weapon in um, your store, it'll actually show you all the compatible parts that can go with that weapon. Well, oh, there you go. Yeah, you can actually go show compatibility, and it actually puts out all your scopes, all your bullets, um, whatever you can run with that weapon. Well, there you go. All your sights. Oh look, there's a. So you don't actually have to go anywhere to find everything now. There's a floating blind. Floating blind? Yep, over on the road. To the slightly right of north is a float floating blind. And you're right, Killer. After playing Classic, I'd like to see the True Track system in this too. It um, it's definitely an interesting track system, although it can make it really, really hard to, uh, especially once your animal stops bleeding. Um, and they just start roaming again. It's really difficult to track them down. And Ness Evans is persuaded to order Chinese. Everyone's nice. on Chinese. Everyone's on Chinese food. Mrs. Bed had sushi. Mm, what sort of sushi did you have, Mrs. B? Chicken and avocado is one of my favourites. I love sushi. John, you're at 375 hours. I didn't actually get my first dime until I was at 500 hours, so... There you go. Yeah. There you go, John. You're doing good still. And I have seen others where they'll do 100 hours and get a diamond. So yep. Yeah, it just, just, just depends. Like I said, mine was pure ass. I walked around a corner. It happened to be standing there in Leighton Lakes. And Michael I Bateman's in the I house as well. Welcome close to... Close to about 510. Nice. Oh, Kelly, you were talking about the rack system. Yeah, well... To be honest, I don't know that that will ever come to Call of the Wild. That would t that would take a whole lot of recoding to get different um, different racks on all the animals. I really don't know how they did it so well in Classic. It is fantastic. Every animal's rack is completely different. There are no similars, and that's how you get your non-typicals as well. But yes, which um, I have. yes, which you do have. I don't have a non-tip yet. I will find one one day, but I do not have a non-typical in my lodge yet. Um, Tim's been making leek and bacon pasta. Mm, I'd eat that, even though I'm not a big fan of leeks. Leek and bacon put together in a pasta, yeah, that works well. I just, I don't do... Anything with bacon. I don't do leeks on their own. I'm, I've never no, had been much of a leek man. No, don't leek. What I've got to ask Mrs. B, what's in a California roll? People keep talking about these California roll friggin' sushis. What's in a California roll? All I know for sushi is seaweed wrap, sushi rice, nice slab of crumb chicken in there with some avocado, and well, yeah, that's I'm sashimi, not sushi. Sushi is actually the fish. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, but see, I'll do sashimi is actually anything else. I'll do tuna. As well, and uh, sushi. Yeah, well, that's sushi. <laughs> but what is a California roll? And yeah, the money for the gems block is fantastic, Wolverine. And yeah, that's, you can't complain. That's right, Keller. The undertaking to be able, especially after releasing it um, as they have now. Could you imagine having to go back and change the racks on all the animals? I don't think it'll ever happen, which is probably one of the reasons we don't have a trophy lodge per se. Um, being as every level 5 moose is either going to have one or the other set of racks on it. The other pole mate, that's it. It's going to either have the small pole mate or the large pole mate. Yep. So, yeah. 
Big and Grizz is here. Big Grizz 10, welcome to the stream, buddy. John Pat just got himself a 904 gold duck. Oh, nice. Well done, man. That is awesome. Getting closer to that diamond, buddy. Where are we going? We are going. We are going. Let's just jump over to this one. Just up there you to go. Mrs. B answered you. Rice, seaweed, avocado, crab meat, and cucumber. Okay. Okay. Groovy. Groovy. There you go. That's what's in a California roll. Hey, 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 hey. Um, Wolverine, I'm pretty sure Classic did have True Rack from the very beginning. Uh, I know they didn't have Trophy Lodges from the beginning. Um, I know that was something that was added into the game, but I'm pretty sure they had a True Rack system all the way. Well, it's got that Burn and Crockett um, rack system too, so when you actually go and look back on your harvest, it actually shows the whole setup and how you got your points which I find is really really good okay so there's no buffalo over here at the moment that I can see sort of hoping for some buffs buffalo where are we see I found a heap of buffalo down to that far right they're all hanging out down there but we just keep walking over the top of this rise towards that other outpost because that's yeah. they, seem, they seem to float between the two of them. Float between the two. Yeah, killer. I think it's more when they say that that they want to bring the animals themselves, um, not not so much the true rack system or anything like that just the variety it's, of animals and variety of maps that they have on classic to be honest though this is more of an arcade style hunting compared to classic where it's more of a it's harder well it's more realistic it's a simulator yeah and i think that's why the you've got so much of a difference between the two because this one is actually a lot easier to play I mean, you can just walk around and, oh, look, animals, bang. Look, animals, bang. Whereas, basic, you can't do that. Well, Wolverine just found himself a five medium gem spot. Get some photos of that sucker, put a bullet in it, and let us know how you go. <laughs> oh, Sean Johns. I'll get you, gadget. <laughs> there you go, Sean, just for you, buddy. Just for you. Um, Big Gris is oh, speaking cool. of classic. <laughs> Me and Werewolves do not get along. Killed one, which was, uh, killed one which was albino, and he said, good, go somewhere else now. Yeah, I had a lot of problems with Werewolves. Um, all I wanted, really, was the gun in classic, and I wanted a werewolf in my, um, in my lodge. I now have a werewolf in my lodge, and I have a gun. So, <laughs> I'm happy. Quite frankly, the werewolves can go take a flying running off a short pair because yeah I'm just yeah well I'm happy there, there you go Sean <laughs> I knew you wanted me to say something and I really couldn't remember what it was you wanted me to say <coughs> and that's the thing killer this uh, this game to EW is more of a everybody can play yeah. It doesn't matter whether you're a hunter or a non-hunter. If you're a gamer, you can play this game. It's out there. It's access. It's it's available for everyone to play. Whereas if you really want a hunting simulator and you want to go out and crawl around in the grass and hide and spray yourself with Sense Eliminator and do all of those things that a true hunter does, then Classic is the way to go. And that's why they charge for it. It is and their... Um, um... Jean-Pierre Oliver has just joined as well. Jean-Pierre Oliver, well, welcome to the stream. It hasn't popped up on my... Yeah, it's above Killer B. That's a fair way up. You okay, it. I missed it. Or her. Sorry if I missed you. Welcome to the stream. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, Killer, they can take a long walk off a short dock. Um, I, I wanted to say something else, but it's not family friendly, so I won't. <laughs> And take a fly in something, get a rolling donut, and then we'd be right. But uh, yeah, all right. I'm going to run up the top of this hill, bud. 
because because this walking okay. is just. So I don't know, Sean. Was that did did, did, did that? Uh, <laughs> obviously, you're happy with that. That that sounded like what you thought. I honestly can't remember, Doctor Claw. I can't tell. Nah. No, I was trying to think about it the other day, and I just, I can't think of... Yeah, he had the cat, and he sat on the seat, and you could just see his arm, and he'd always pat the cat. <clears throat> okay, yeah, no, see, and I, I don't, I just don't remember him. I don't know, I remember Inspector Gadget, but um, oh, only because... Piggy. Piggy? Pig? One, one trivial piggy, 200 out, down one, to the north. Down to the north? I was going to say, because you're not looking north. Oh, and it's gone. It's just floating. No, see, they're walking levitating. for me. There's two of them. There's yeah. three of them. Yeah, they're There's all four. levitating for me. Yep, they're all doing the meow on a rope. Um, <laughs> the Aussie saying about getting on your bikes, get on your bike, Mike. Um, that just means go away. On your bike, Mike. <laughs> on your bike, yeah. <laughs> That was perfect, you reckon, Sean? Okay, awesome. <laughs> uh, see, Killer B remembers, so it was a white cat, white long haired cat. I, yeah, vaguely remember it, but and see. And he had the just... chair, but you never actually saw him. You only ever saw his arms sitting out the side of the chair. Okay, yeah, no, vaguely, vaguely, but. Talk, yeah. but... Yeah, very vague on that one. Well, I'm glad I was able to. <laughs> able to uh, do that for you. I don't even know where that voice comes from, Sean. I, um, I'm not quite sure how it happened that day. It just happened, and all of a sudden I had Buffalo. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I do a lot of things that I do. They just happen. Metal arm. Okay, I'm gonna have to look yes. it up. And he had um, a metal arm. That's right. Yeah, well, there you go. I'm gonna have to look it up. And because, he always yeah. stroked the cat. But you could never see his face or his body. And he sounded like that, eh? Pretty much. There you go. <laughs> uh, never would have thought about it. Hello, what are you? A lesser kudu. A male less kudu. Yep. Mating call. There's Springbok out to the southeast on the side of the hill. Wow. Old eagle eyes over here now. We've got no non, so we've got eagle eye. Eagle eye river. And out to the east as well. I could not see no Springbok um, out there. There is a blue wildebeest out to the east, cruising up the hill on his rope. Okay. The... Oh no, there now I can see a Springbok. I'll get you next time, Gadget. That's it. <laughs> Probably not quite as deep as that, but yeah. Well, there you go. Glad I made someone's day. <laughs> More Springbok. That's a two. That's a one. I still don't see no wildebeest, but hey, that's fine. Oh, yeah, now I see wildebeest. Three and a four easy. Jeez, four easy. Trip down memory lane on the stream. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go. I'm old, I told you. I'm as old as the hills. I, I may have picked that voice up when I was a kid and not even realised it, and now I just do it because I can. I used to, uh, my grand, uh, my uncle actually used to do Donald Duck really well. I used to be able to go and see him and he'd do Donald Duck and Goofy. Oh. Alright, we need something to shoost. That wildebeest would have been nice, but... He just wanted some miles. Miles run away. He miles did. and miles away. Miles away. Well, I'm going to go over and get that spring book. Want to come? Might as well. Okay. It's only 164 up. I'm going to shoot it very soon. Matthew Murphy is in the house. Welcome to the stream, Matthew. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Okay. Let's see if we can shoot this thing and kill it. And it's running. Now it's doing the, the rope pull. 
Same as the Kudu that's running back the other way, doing a rope pull. Go on. Okay, it. so now they're running for me. So you've got, yeah. you've got the slide and I've got the run. I've got the slide, you've got the run. So it's changing. It's changing it's it up for everybody. It's giving us a bit of, it is. Bit of uh, a bit you know, of... you have some and he'll have some and we'll all have some together. But, uh, yeah, that probably wasn't the best shot. That's going to be an intestines, I'd say. I was too far back for a nice lung shot. Anything else over there? No, 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 no. Oh, no. up the top, there's buffalo, buffalo, buffalo. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah, stop. I see it. I see them. This okay, so hard. now watch this. How far out are they? Um, Yeah, over a kilometre. That's how it says. Over a kilometre, I love that. Over a kilometre away, these buffalo are. No, they're Well, they're not. about 300. Six, uh, the I big can... one up the back's six. Yeah, there's a six and a seven there. I wish, Nez, I could do with some royalties. I could just do with some money. Royalties will do. Um, but yeah, no, I doubt it. <laughs> Like I say, I still don't even know how I do that voice. I just do. It, it happens when I want it. It's there. Um, they have... Oh, hello. I can see he's back. Oh! Springbok cronking everywhere beside us. They are. Cronking bunch of pansies. There he is. Nothing special though, eh? No fives. No, 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 no. I was going to pick up the nah, there's nothing in them. Well, hello, here's the buffaloes. Buffalo. That one there. Watch this. See if I can get it with a 338. Oh, I wounded it. Come and get me. No, it's fell it over dead already. I don't know. I don't know whether it's fell over dead or not. There's going to be a couple of wounded ones up there in a minute. Mate, I wish the Black Death would uh, come and squash me, Big Grizz. They run away from me far too often. Only 2% quick kill on that. That's not bad. Um, yeah, they run away far too often. They do. It's, it's, it's just not on. They should charge me constantly. I should constantly have to have first aid kits and um, be dying. But it just doesn't happen. Wow, I just loaded my pistol up there and you load the bullets up and then as it closes up, all the bullets disappear. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah, that happens with the 454. Pretty handy. Keith Stone, welcome to the stream. I'm great, how are you today, buddy? Welcome to the stream, Keith. Just chasing down some uh, wounded buffaloes. Probably not great shots on any of them. No, no, no. So, there's, hopefully there's some angry ones around here somewhere. Hey, what are you? That's a Cape Buffalo mating call. I don't want a mating call. I want an angry call. Give me angry. Give me angry call buffalo. Oh, we've got a dead one up here. Nice. That's one bonus. Got one dead one. Oh, got two dead ones. <laughs> it's two dead buffaloes. Two dead ones. He was a six hard. And that was flesh and intestines. There you go. I thought I'd come a little bit low and in the back end of it there. And... So that must be the seven that's running away there. And this is the other one we shot at. And that was flesh and intestines and stomach as well. Okay. So far. I don't think there was any more. I think it was only the two. Okay. And Nez Chinese is here. Awesome. Awesome. Chinese food is good. But there you go. The 338 does the job quite nicely. I'm uh, 
quite happy that I can hunt them from a distance now because I can never get close to the blinking things. They always run away. Yep. So like, really? Pansies. Hey, hey look, there, there they are there. There he is. Mate. 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 How you doing? You gonna come at me? You gonna come at me? No? You wuss. You bloody great pansy. It ran away from a wildebeest as well. It ran yeah. it ran to the left and a wildebeest ran at it so it turned around and ran away. My god. These things are just absolutely chickens. If I was that big, I'd be running people over. Be like, yeah. Don't call me Black Death for no reason. Yet over here they might as well be called Yellow Chicken. Because they just run and run and run. Big pansies. Yep. Bloody big blouse. Big girls blouse is what we'll call them. Yep. <clears throat> Interested to know if I actually hit this one. I was aiming for its head. Oh, I did get it. It's a flesh wound. <laughs> Uh, John's jumping onto the new Africa map, but can't. Can't hunt, hunt the new beast? Why is that, John? What is preventing you from hunting the new beastie? Ah, uh, the beta is. Console. Ah, yes, good point. Are you on console, That's John? What, that would that be the would reason. Much stop you. Yep, yep, yep. I would be thinking. Yeah, that is a shame. Hopefully, though, we'll get it out on PC real quick, and then they'll have it out on console not long after. You can only but hope. Oh, hello, what's down there? Lots of things down there. Kudus, and Spingbox, and Gems Box, and Wildebeests. Okay. I don't think I killed that. Uh, no, that buffalo didn't die, so he can just toddle along on his own. Console. And there you go, Matthew's congratulating you on winning the EW raffle there, Ree. Thank you very much. He did well, it was I quite actually, impressed. Yeah. I actually ended up buying a um, pig, uh, a goat feeder, mineral block feeder, and putting it out, and they work unreal. I was actually back on it last night again, and yeah, there was just goats everywhere. <clears throat> Oh, where's my snot leaves? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'll pay you next time. Gadget. <laughs> now get out and give me my Chinese. So now I'm going to be hungry. Why are you there all running? There is actually a... Um... Yeah, there's a gem spot over there. I can see him. It's really easy. Yeah, but there's actually a... Um... Jackal as well. There's everything's out there. Yeah. Nine fifty at two thirty seven kilos, three thirty seven trophy rating. The bigger diamonds must be massive. Well they must be. But that's cool, man. If you want to put that information um or find Godiga in the um in the Discord and pass that information on to him there, Wolverine, he will be most appreciative. Yeah, just give him a direct message. With any info, yep. All weights and infos like that all go straight into his uh, straight into his amazing sheet, which just is absolutely fantastic. It's so informative. Oh, yeah, there's that jackal out there. Nothing seems to want to come towards us, though, does it? It all just seems to want to walk away. Oh, we got Springbok coming back up the hill. Yep, they're all coming back. Todd Wedman. Welcome to the stream. Oh, what a big line. oh yeah, there you go. And there's something beside us. And Mr. Beard actually isn't here today, my friend. Mr. Beard is off in real life doing a real life hunt. Um oh, hello. What have we got? Just a kudu. Oh, kudu. I can't shoot it because you're an invalid target. You can shoot it, because you're not an invalid target, so that's really nice. <laughs> the 
It's raining in Leighton, time to move on. <laughs> oh, it's always raining in Leighton. I think people are having struggles with Africa at the moment too. A lot of people reckon it's been raining in Africa for days on end. You'll see that one the guts is an all star. Yeah, it is a bit fat. In the in the middle of the guts. Oh yeah, 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 I see and what you're looking at. Yeah. Out at the back there, but You know what that is, eh? They've all come from Ethiopia. All distended stomachs. Yep, they're all distended. That was a nine oh one three easy. Nice. I'll take that. So there you go. The threes are still good golds. Um, and I'm guessing the fours still have the potential to be a diamond out there. Oh, there come the spring bolt back again. Look at them all. Pronking around. Ricky sounds like Beard. I hope not. No, no, no. Beard, beard is a one and only. Um, there's, there's nobody that really sounds like Beard other than Beard. That's right. A very distinct voice. Oh, here comes that gem, gem spot coming back. Well, since we're actually, actually hunting gem spot, maybe we should shoot that. Yes, I would. Okay. He's two seventy five from me, but he is coming up. Oh, there's a four spring box there. I might take that spring box while you take that gem spot. Yeah, if you'll, uh, if you'll come out, I will uh, endeavour to shoot him in the yeah. face. You let me know when you're already. Yep. And it's all good, Todd. I'm uh, not surprised. I, I, I spent a lot of time going out on streams with Beard, so it's uh, not surprising that people would think he would be out with me. But uh, I usually bring Mr. Ricky over here, or uh, Non, or Sean. Beard has been out on a few streams with me when he's got the time and he's not busy. Hey, look, stop skating. All right, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. Three, two, one. And it's dead. I don't think I've even got this one. No. Nah. Not even going down. It was pronking when you said go. So. Ah, I hate that. It is so tough to... Do. So tough to get him. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not going down. So, no. That's all right. We knocked over this uh, gems box. Ah, sun's out in Africa, John says. Soak up the warmth. That's the way. I don't mind the rain in the game. I honestly don't. I've, uh, it doesn't bother me if it rains no, in late lakes. No, it doesn't lakes. bother me either or... It's, it's one of those things, it, it rains in real life when you're hunting, so, you know, you can't just turn it off because you don't like it. And Mrs. B, I was just saying, I hope I don't sound like him because we've got totally different bloody accents. <laughs> yeah, he's Canadian, eh? <laughs> he's out for I a rip. I wasn't sort of meaning that I hope I don't sound like him, but no, I mean, yeah, just with the accents, I hope I don't sound like him. That's right, you, you apologise enough to be a Canadian, eh? I do, I do. Yeah, so there you go. But yes, I didn't mean disrespect or just I hope I don't sound like Beard because my Australian accent is nowhere near a Canadian accent. Nope. I wouldn't have thought anyway. Nope. Where'd this gems bot go? It died down here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Oh there it is, look at that. It's lying just on there. the ground. Hey look. There. Spring bot. Ponking spring box. Stupid I'll things. Coming back. They're only supposed to pronk when they're running away from you. Uh, you like my Canadian accent there, killer? You said for a rip, are you, bud? Eh? It's all good, eh? Sorry, eh? But you're about to die. Oh, there's a rabbit. See? Told you. Sorry, oh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, eh? Come here. <laughs> Come here, running away. You gotta wonder, actually, with beards out shooting animals after he shot one, does he stand there and go, Sorry, eh? <laughs> I've always wondered. Canadians are so apologetic. Look at this. He's, he's trying to look at his own rear legs. He's pretty flexible, this fella. Wow. Um, There's a heap of spring ball still coming up. Yeah, that's cool. They're probably coming to... um. 
coming to see the dead one. I'm doing well, thank you, Todd. How are you today? There's that three, there's that four over there. Over the lake is the four Springbrook, directly east. Oh, something just attacked oh. me. Yep, you got thousand hooves of death. Okay, great. <laughs> well, get out. Wow. Get out. There you go, folks. That's what happens. Springbok, if you watched Non Inspirational's premiere the other day, that is their secret move the thousand hooves of death. Ricky just got thousand hooves. I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, a bit rude, really. I, they could have warned me. No, they don't warn you. That's that's not what spring rocks do. There is no warning. It's what's called the thousand hooves of death. You <laughs> nearly spat out your beer there, killer. Don't do that. That'd, that'd be a waste of beer. And now I'm Irish. Ah, are you the new lad? <laughs> Scottish, Irish. I don't know. Man. Potato, 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 tomato, tomato. They should do that people at work, just walk up to them and go, potato, and then walk off. Really confuses some people, they don't know quite what to say. Like, well, potato what? Oh, gem bop. Gem bop. Shoot it in the face. Oh, that's three up. That's alright. Alright, I'll go for it then. Which direction am I supposed to be looking in? Ah, it's dead east for me. Dead east for you? Well, it's east. Is it gonna be dead? <laughs> like what I did there? Jeez, I'm getting as bad as freaking Jaxie. Yep. And I don't even have children. It's dead. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Let's go over and get. Mil. Let's go over and get. With the seven mil. Well, that's right. It's it's it's, it's manly to be run over by anything in this game. Um, Springbok, wildebeest, Cape buffalo, bunny rabbits. If you're non, um, yeah. I aim. I aim to be killed at least once during every stream, if I can be. It's, oh, uh, that's an excitement. Well, it does. It does. And I mean, let's face it, we're at um, <laughs> 10 different accents in one <laughs> sentence. <laughs> I warned you. Kiwis, mate, we, 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 we just oh. don't know. We're not quite sure where we're from or what we're doing or, you know, where we're going most of the time. It's all good, though. Stay for a rip, are you, bud? At the end of the day, Todd, we try and have a good old time. The reason we Hopefully do it is the entertainment entertain factor for you guys. folks. And if you're entertained, guys then I'm happy. Hey, look. Where are you going? No, I'm just looking at Jim's box over the other side of the oh. lake as well. My dead Jim's box here. Okay, I'm coming to you then. We're going to find this, this dead one. Dropped it on the spot. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Um, if I could find a way to be killed by rabbits or ducks, John, I would. Well, yeah. I don't know whether you're ever going to get smacked in the head by a duck taking out low-flying ducks. Maybe. That's a brown one. I've seen Is a it? white and I've seen a grey, but I've never seen a brown one. That's there a new colour. That's dark as its fur type. A dark fur type. Well, there you go. There you go, folks. I've had greys. I've had uh, normals, the commons, which I thought were white. And that's a dark. Me on a talent show, Niz? Um, yeah, no, no. I'm about as talented as a potato. I may be able to do the occasional voice and bits and pieces, but uh, yeah, no, no. I don't really have any amazing talents. I, I certainly can't sing. And uh, any of you that Plus, have watched watched Beard I would have, know that. I have a body for body and face for radio. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I don't need another extra 10 pounds added on the camera. Well, that's right. <laughs> that's, that's, I wouldn't fit in the camera. <laughs> you people have seen my subscription, dude. My little fat man. Oh. Hey. It's all good. <laughs> and I'm glad you love watching us, Todd. Like I say, it's all about the entertainment and it's all about everybody out there. Because at the end of the day, otherwise it's just me and this, this, this man here running around acting like knobs. Um... And although it's funny, it's it's not as not nearly as much fun as hanging out with everybody else and uh, you know, 
having a good laugh. Where are we? Well, I mean, at the end of the day, we do take the hunting theory too. So. Well, yeah, you know, I do my best to. Of, um, we're trying to have the most integrity, and you know, you're using the proper weapon, the proper guns, and occasionally the proper, proper occasionally. animals. Occasionally, I'm occasionally, always, yeah, sometimes <laughs> I'm a bit silly, but sometimes things just need to die, and I don't really care what I shoot them with. I.e., bunny rabbits and the 470. A potato can be entertaining, just throw it at someone and laugh. Well, that's right, see? <laughs> Try it one day when you're at work, Big Grizz. Just walk up to someone and go, potato, and then walk off. It's, <laughs> trust me, the look on faces is, is just priceless. And, and they'll confuse themselves all day wondering why the hell you walked up to them and said potato. What did they do to deserve that potato? It's really good. <laughs> I used to, I, when you work in places like I used to have to work, you got to entertain yourself. Yes. There is no entertainment coming from the bosses or anything else, so. Uh, we used to have a word of the week. Yep, yep. Eclectus. Now, yeah, Ecle put that into a, a sentence, the word of the week, whatever it was. Yeah, Eclectus was a hard one to do. It was. Every, everybody had the same sentence. My friend owns an Eclectus bird. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't all have the same sentence. <laughs> uh, you got to change it up a little bit, but um, yeah, putting the collectors into a sentence, not good. Hey, that's hey. an angry buffalo. Female angry buffalo. Oh, and it's going to run. You oh, pansy. You growl at me like that, and then you run. <laughs> well, I have a bullet to the to the spine. And, and it's and, still going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have another bullet. It'll die there. <laughs> there you go. Now it's dead. There you go. It looks so funny on the rope, too, because it just sort of rolled and then laid on its back. That'll go. That'll die. Yep, it's on down. Well, there you go, Grizz. As you deliver your load, as you drop it off, drop it off. Say thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Potato. And then walk off. It's and zero to 25. Dead. Up yep. on top of the mountain. Trust me, you'll get a phone call a bit later on that says, why? What? Potato for what? What, what, what potato? <laughs> you just got nothing. It was just potato. Potato. Oh, look at that. I got eight bucks out of that. We got 75% consecutive, considering, um, integrity, considering we hit it three times with a 3 3 That's not bad. There's a gems box warning call up on top of that mountain. Cool. Let's go up there. Oh, I see it. You see it? Well, you shoot it. I see it. Can you shoot it? Did you shoot it? Did it die? Yep, it I did. Is it dead? I did shoot it. I don't know whether it's going to go down. Um, Killer, that is the one thing. If I could have anything brought over from Classic other than Trophy Lodges, I would want the angriness of the buffaloes and the bison so that they charge you. I love that in Classic. That is probably one of my favourite things to do. Run at bison and have them charge me or run at water buffalo on Peekabin Bay. I think it is fantastic. And Elk the Gamer is here. Welcome to the stream, Elk. How are you? Do, do, do. But yeah, try it. When you're picking up a load or you're dropping off a load, just say potato. But do it in an Irish accent, so it's potato. And and they'll just, they'll be confused. Uh, Big Gris, they'll just, they, they won't. Or he might give you all his potatoes. That's right. And what a bonus. You get to go home with potatoes. Well, that's right, then you're going to have a feed of chips. Some chips, bro. Some chips. Got some chips there, bro. You can steal that spaceship over there. You want to come? <laughs> Where'd this silly buffalo go? Hey, what are you? That's yeah. a gem spot warning call again. It is a warning call. I did hit one. I did hit it. Flesh wound. You hit it. That's good. Oh, there it is. I see it. And elk. 
got your first diamond. Awesome. What was it, buddy? Did you just shoot? Yep. Awesome. I actually heard the echo from your gunshot on that one. Oh, he's an 815 kilo one, this one. Hey, look, there goes a wildebeest. Wildebeest. Oh, no, that's a gym spot. Look at that. Is that the one that's running? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'll be the one I shot, so if you can get a shot on it. Get um, it. No, he's gone. He's gone. So he's still running. It was a level, th level three. Yeah. Ah, you only eat plankton? <laughs> Are you beached, bro? Beached as? And Elk got a Kudu 961. Nice. Um, what, what level, uh, oh, will they give us, are you, do you mean, will they, um, let us go past level 60 there, Todd? If so, it has been a, oh, hello. It has been up for discussion, whether they do it or not is another story. Well, I got one that was running. I don't know if it was your one. Um... So yeah, nobody's really sure as to whether they'll allow that level to go up or not, Todd. Um, 60 seems to be it at the moment. Level cap. <laughs> John. John, family friendly. <laughs> and it's not always the smallest room in the house, man. Trust me. I, um, yeah. Yeah, so, well, if that's what you're looking at, Todd, I'm not sure, buddy. They may... They may increase it over time. They may not. The problem is, if they increase it, then they have to add skill points and perk points. Um, and they don't really want to add too many more of those. Otherwise, let's face it, well, then you'd you end up every skill and every with perk. every skill and every perk. And they don't want you'd that to happen. You end up with who's dear and Zag tactics. Yep. So they, they, at this point in time, they like to keep it so that there's only a certain amount of skills and perks you get. And it means you have to work out which ones you want. It was a level four. Shot him at 300 meters. Nice. Well, that there, Elk, tells me that you've probably got a couple more level fours on your map that will show up as diamonds. Once you've collected them and knocked them all over, chances are the next lot of diamonds you find will have to be level fives. Because I know EW did change it. So that the level fours were no longer going to be diamonds, but they didn't actually remove the ones that were already on your map. Which is a bonus. Like I say, I'm still yet to find a level four kudu on my map that is a diamond. I got one on Riki's map that was a diamond. Um, but I haven't had one on mine yet. Jeez, this thing just doesn't want to die, does it? Running. At 25 to 50 percent, I put a bullet in it as well as it yeah. ran past me. Yeah, it was 50 to 75 when I saw it before you hit it. 25 to 50. 25 to 50 still. It just does not want to play the game. This one, what a pain, Todd. It will happen, my friend. Zero to twenty-five, so it's definitely going down. It will happen, no. buddy. Um... <laughs> Here you go, Ness. Hang on, then. Just for you, buddy. Um... There you go. Don't feel left out. Now one of your messages has been deleted too. That's just my mods doing their job. Mrs. B is fantastic like that. She will not let anything that is not family friendly past. And that's all right, Mrs. B, because I misread it the first time too. So it's no problems. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, here it is. But that's 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 what my special people in blue are for. They uh, they do mod my chat and keep it family friendly because obviously, I try to keep the channel as family friendly as possible. Um, we do have if we can. G rated as much as possible. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. B's children do occasionally watch the streams, and um, yeah. And I know a bunch of other um, parents have let their children watch as well. So the more G-rated I can keep it, the better. That way everyone's happy. All right. So where are we? Um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go back to the starting outpost and head over to the wildebeest zone. 
No worries, Niz. Anytime, buddy. <laughs> I can't leave you out. Um, <laughs> Todd, what I was going to say is for your diamonds, mate, go and check out Jaxie Beard's channel. The link is below uh, the video after the stream. Go and check it out. You'll find videos in there on how to stack need zones and all that sort of stuff. Make it a little bit easier to find those diamonds. Uh, that man over there, Riki, does a stream every Friday night. 6 p.m. PST, and we've had a fair few diamonds on his streams. I stream Saturday 6 p.m. PST. Bed streams Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. PST. Sean Johns either does a 4 p.m. or a 6 p.m. PST on a Wednesday. Um, Sunday, Monday for Zaggy and Flinter. Sunday and Monday for Zaggy and Flinter. Now those are Australia days. If you want the actual day then you need to go one day in advance so Riki would be Friday I would be Saturday Zaggy would be Sunday Flinter Monday Bed Tuesday Sean oh no there you go I did get it right Sean Wednesday yeah. Bed Thursday uh, and back to Riki on a Friday and yes. of course hey hey you gotta stop whistling I do um, and in amongst all of that of course they're all releasing videos on a regular basis as well but um, anything anything you need to know go and go and find the channels go and have a look at them and you will find tips tricks hints and videos on how to do just about everything in this game and that's the way elk they will come the more time you spend on the game the more diamonds will come just remember stack those need zones stack the feed zones follow the times that the animals say they're going to be there and um yeah Diamonds will come. They're plentiful enough. I'm sitting on, I think, about 12 or 13 diamonds now. Nowhere near um, Flinter or Beard or Zaggy with their uh, 20s and 30s. But, um, yeah, I'm happy with the ones that I have. Most of mine are different animals. Um, I've got the white tail and the black tail and I've got the coyote off. That man's stream. Actually, I got the white tail off Riki's stream after he told me he was going to get me one the night before. Yes, but I've done that for Non as well. Yeah, his, did it for um, Non with the elk. The, yep. The groozy elk down near the church. Matthew wants to know what teams we go for in the NRL. Well, Matthew, I'm a Storm man myself, and Riki is a Brisbane Broncos fan. Yes. So what team do you uh, do you go for there, Matthew, if you do follow the t a team at all? The reason I'm a Storm man is being a Kiwi, the first place I moved to in Australia was Melbourne. Um, and that seems to be the general consensus and general rule. If you're born there or if that's the first place you go, then that's the team you go for. Riki, I believe, was a... Parramatta Eels supporter once upon a time in the 80s. Before but there was, was a Brisbane the... team. Before the Brisbane team started, yes. So I actually followed them from about 1984 to 1987 and then swapped over to Brisbane only because I am from Brisbane. So. Well, there you go. And Niz goes for the Wigan Warriors. John Pat goes for the New Zealand Warriors. Nice. Hey, NZ, did, a, did they did actually, a ride this year? Wigan, isn't Wigan playing um, the Roosters this weekend? I believe. Or next weekend, World Club Challenge, I'm pretty sure. I didn't believe Wigan they are, the, yeah. Um, yeah, Wigan, Wigan won the Super League, didn't they? Yep. Yep, they certainly did. The team that came last this year. Who came last this year? Who got the wooden spoon this year? Yeah. Who? Para. That was Para. So that's who Matthew goes for, Parramatta. That's all right. They've... Oh, Tigers in the 80s for John Pat. Oh, hey, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, Tigers in the 80s was good, though. They weren't too bad. Yeah, well, before I moved to Australia, I followed Penrith for a while. And then they were Belmain Tigers, not West Tigers. That's right. They are now, so... Yep. Because you actually had uh, Western Suburbs and Belmain joined together. And I've got to say, John, the New Zealand Warriors actually did really well this year. I was quite impressed. If that Sean Johnson would get off his backside and actually start playing like he plays, that team would be damn near unbeatable. Because without Sean doing what he's doing, they just seem to sit back and relax on their laurels. As soon as Sean starts playing, everybody starts playing, and that team, well, 
It's wild. I thought they Who were going to... Who won their elk? Um, they, um... Kudu and Springbox. Yeah, but elk in your chat. Oh, yeah, thank you very much, likes, Elf. And... Muchly appreciated, my friend. And like he said, if you do enjoy what you've seen, smash that little like button. Hit the subscribe and ding the little bell beside it so you know when I go live or when I put up any videos. When it works. When it works, yeah. Well, it worked for me last week, so I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't had any subscribers today, so I don't know. Bellmane, there you go. Bellmane Tigers. That's, that's going way back now. Oh. Making me feel old. You are old. I what know. About? But it's making me feel even older. <laughs> That's alright, I'm older than dirt, so don't worry about it. What have we got out there? Piglies. Piggly feeding zones, and kudu feeding zones, and springbok feeding zones. And they can, John. That's the problem. There is so much talent wrapped up in that one team. On paper, they should have been the champions. But, um, yeah, they just, they, they, they sort of get ahead and then decide, eh, that's enough. We'll just let it go from there and they lose. Welcome back, FaZe. Welcome back, FaZe. Bring it. Hey, look, there's a pig. He looks like, he, oh, he's got nice tusks on him. We're going to shoot him because we haven't shot a pig today. Well, you let me know because I'm going to take the spring box. Oh, there's another pig, three. Well, I've got I'll a take fall. the other pig. I'll take the other pig. Um, if this pig will actually come out of the grass, do not go in the grass. Hey, that's that's snot wheeze. I don't need a uh, snot wheeze. I need a pig caller. Let's see. Not oh, spring box up, Pronkin. Yeah, my pigs run into the long grass. Yeah, there's another pig on the other side as well, to the left. There's pigs but he's gone into the grass as well. But they may come out yet. You never know. Yeah, the Storm did win their first year. Um, uh, they've won a few few years consequently due to a little bit of um, maybe too much money in the salary cap. Um, but that's cool because we had those wins removed from us. We were the last team in the league to ever have a game removed because of salary capness. Otherwise, yeah, this year... There should have been a couple of teams that uh, lost. That spring box coming right at us if you want to shoot it. Yeah. Go for it, man. I'm. It's, it's all good. I'll, I'll just lie it down here. No, because it's lying down there. So we're going to yeah, pick. It's lying down there. It's, it's lying down. And Mrs. Watch. B is back again. Well, those pigs, they're flanking us. They're putting on the flank and maneuver. They are. They are. They're special like that, <laughs> and they have their special move of charge. That's actually a Probably quite a nice... zero integrity on that. Oh, yeah, you did because you shot it. With a 45.70. With a 45.70. 243. Or the 338. Or the 30.30. Oh. No, I don't have the 30.30 on me. Don't do it with a 338. That'll make it even worse. You get negative concept. Uh, negative. There's a warning like, call no, from a bush. A 50. Bush pig. From a bush. Um, yeah, look, I don't know what Sam Burgess thought he was doing going back over to try and play Union. He is a league player, and he is a phenomenal league player when he wants to be. So I don't think he'll ever bother leaving again to try and do Union. Um, I think he just thought he could go back over and slot into Union like a lot of the Kiwi boys do. They play, um, they play league for a few years, and then they go over and slot into the All Blacks. But uh, no. No, there's only certain players that can do that. Um, yes, FaZe, me and Rec both live in the same house. We're just at opposite ends. Yep, in flatmates. Our own offices. Housemates. Yep. Have been for, God. Um, 10 years? 13 years now. 2006. There you go. See? So 12 years. Going on 13 years. Pumba. 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 I've got something around me too. Oh yeah, probably a pig. It was um it gave out a warning call before. No, I thought oh, okay, let's go around this way. Oh yeah, there's a pig. Hey pig. Now what I would like to see is if I was going for this pig, it to come out and charge me. 
Yep, but I don't think it's going to happen because everything's just chicken. <sighs> Come on, pig. Exit. Oh, piggy. Piggy? Wait, shoot it. Kill it. Piggy. Shoot it in the face. Oh, there. Okay. Did you shoot it? Did you get it? Did you kill it? No, it's running. I shot it twice. I had an angry one in here somewhere. 2550, 025. Down. Okay, let's go get the dead pig. Do -do -do. And silly me, I had the 4570 out again. That's alright, you can shoot a pig with the 4570. Okay, now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, that's alright then. Yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah, no, that's, and that's the bonus of the 4570 is that it's so ethical for so many animals on this map. Pigs, kudu, buffalo, gems box. Um, yeah, I don't know whether it's just just the Not tackling. All league players, look at Sunny Bill Williams. Yes. Uh, um, um. What's it? Who's who's the Australian um, player? Um, yeah, tall, Carmichael Hunt. No, no, no tall, tall lanky Hunt, dude. Um, tall lanky dude. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. There's a few that can do it. Um, I know the I know the All Blacks are trying to get a Sofa Solomona. But he was Union to start with. Though. He well, yeah, not for not for much though. As a kid, he was a Union player as a kid. And then he went to league, and I know they did offer him a deal, but the Storm offered him a better deal, and I don't think he ever wants to go back to Union. But could you imagine a man like that in friggin' the Union? Oh, he's like seven foot tall and about 250 kilos. The bloke is huge. He's huge. Biggest league player there is. Monster. 806 gold buffalo just now. Well done, John. Nice. Nice. Todd's saying he's spending time with his son. Four and a half years in the Marines. Wow. That's some dedication. Israel Falau. That's, That's the uh, one. Don't worry, Matthew. You don't need to spell it. We know what you mean. But that's the bloke I was talking about. And he is a, a very successful changeover from, from league to uh, union. Because he was a phenomenal league player. And I actually watched him... Uh, the other day, playing... I can't remember who they were playing. NFL, yes, we know what the NFL is. Um, we actually had one of our players go over there to play for San Francisco. Oh, old Jared Hain. Old Haney, the Hain plane. The man that but plays rugby a, union, rugby league, NFL. The there end. is an Aussie fella that actually plays for one of the teams over there. I can't remember his name. He's a monster. Oh, that big seven-foot young fella. He's like 18 yeah. years old or something, yeah. Or was he's older than that now? But yep. But yeah, I I I've watched the NFL a few times. It just it's one of those games that I don't understand how a game that should take eighty minutes takes all day. <laughs> um, it's because they it, turn the clock off all the time. It's very much like AFL over here, Australian Football League. It's an eighty-minute game that takes about six and a half hours. Um, it's yeah, I don't mind. The games themselves, it's, but I'm a rugby league fan and a rugby union fan. I don't mind NFL. I'm, like, I understand the rules and everything. I sat down and I actually learned and watched it for a fair bit when I, um, I think I was, first time I was in Mount Isa, I had a lot of time to myself. <laughs> so, I actually sat down and watched it, but I have not watched NFL in a long time. I understand the biggest it. problem here is that we don't actually get it televised until Monday mornings over here. So, I mean, I'm at work. It's uh, hard to do. Everything's running away from us. Jake the... Boggs has just turned up. Hey, Jake, how's it going? That's 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 not the caller I was looking for. That, that might be the caller I was looking for. They all appear to have run that way because of the wind. They go home and sleep and come back the next day and finish. That's right. That's right. Oh, wow. It's, uh, I mean, and look, I, I don't knock it, but I just don't. I understand the rules of the game. I understand first down, second down, um, all that sort of stuff. I do actually understand how it works. I just, uh, I, I can't get into a game that takes that long to play. 80 minutes of football is, is good. Enough. 
It's good. And then, you know, I mean, Saturdays and Sundays during the footy season, well, I've got three games, four games to watch. So it's it's fantastic. But I don't think I could sit there and spend that amount of time just watching one team play. Um, I don't think we're going to find anything because of this wind. I think yeah, well, we're walking into the wind, which is not well, really... Well, let's, let's walk far, with the but... wind in our face then and go this way. And yep, and yep, know what the CFL is? The Canadian Football League. Canadian. Canadian. They're always sorry, eh? <laughs> we beat yeah, you, like, sorry, eh? When you, I'm amazed you are actually able to play ice hockey, really, because they all get pretty cranky with each other. Do they say sorry when they hit each other? Well, that's a good like point. Slam into each other. Sorry! Sorry, eh? <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, I mean, it's... it's it's probably one of the it's most very violent nasty games. Nasty sport. Oh, I love watching it. Oh yeah, it's, oh, don't get me wrong. I CHL don't mind is amazing to watch, hockey. but it's oh, yeah, you got you got to wonder. It's a bloody good question, there, Ricky. Do the Canadians apologise after they check someone? I need more than a cup need of coffee. Cup of coffee. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. No, actually, it's too hot. I'm yeah. going to have my energy drink after this. I got a can of Mother sitting there. Yep. I had me coffee this morning, but it was like when I got up at eight o'clock this morning, it was twenty six degrees. Yeah, I'd hate to think what it is now because I've got all my oh, office. It'd have to be close to thirty. They reckon it was meant to be like thirty degrees in Ipswich and Brisbane today, so I'm thinking about thirty degrees. Yeah, shovel is I've got to have all my windows closed. So there goes that wildebeest. The wildebeest. The wildebeest. But that's alright, because as soon as I finish the stream, I'll be opening up all my windows again and cranking up the fan that I've turned down because it's the last Yeah, well, I've got a fan and I tried to turn it on and all it did was go and didn't spin. Oh. It was, oh, okay. okay, I'll undo that fan and it can go away. About five. That's that broken one. Yeah, five years worth of fan use has finally killed it. Killed it, yep. So I will not be using that fan. How far away is that Springbok? But unlike you, I can actually have my windows open. Yeah, well, it'd be nice to have my windows open. 164. Let's see if we can take them out while it's while it's feeding itself on the ground. There, there. is a wildebeest over there as well. Yeah, I'm going to go for the springbok. And you got it. I did. And I did. there goes a jackal. Yeah, it's a girl. Girl jackal. Under, Under Seal Hades 02, welcome to the stream. Thanks for tuning in, welcome, bud. Welcome. How are I'm doing great. It's just a little bit warm. And like I tried to explain earlier, I can't really have my windows open in my office at the moment because my street is like a drag strip. And I can't have the fan going because my microphone is fairly sensitive and will pick up the fan noise. And believe me, it took months to get to the point. Oh. Hey. Blue you? world of beast. Where? Straight out in front of us, to the east. To the Pretty east? Easy. Well, best you be shooting it, because I can't see it at the moment. Oh, yeah, there it is. Wow, we both shot at it. I definitely hit it. 50 it's to 75, it. it's going down. A trip to Buddings for a fan? Yeah, probably. $10 fan. Yeah, well, that's all it is, is a Bunnings fan. Yep, yep. So, I'll go get another one. And it's just, all good, Mrs. B. It could go for another 20 hours, and I would uh, I would persist. It's uh, I love doing the streams for people. I wasn't, I, I'm going to be honest, I wasn't really feeling like it this morning. It ran. You saw how far this thing ran, yeah. and I still got 100% quick kill. Oh, okay. So, that's that's good. Um, I do it for the, I do it for the people. I, I love I love hanging out with everybody and uh, doing everything else. And like I say, it wasn't I wasn't really super feeling it this morning. And it's a lot to do with the fact that I know I have to shut up my office and swelter away in the heat. But I know Beard does it. I know Sean's done it. Ricky's had to do it. So if that's what it takes to uh, be out here and hang out with all you wonderful people and have a bit of a laugh then hey you know I can put up with a bit of heat worst case scenario I get too hot I'll go and have a cold shower well that's right after about 20 minutes hey, of the, the hot has yet to come yet. Well, after 20 I minutes of the hot water first, first started streaming when hey. was that December last year 
Yep. Oh my god, it was so hot. And you can do it too, just cause. Do, 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 do. Well, I'm glad you all love hanging with us, Niz, because, yeah, without this community, I, uh, it'd, it'd be a bit different. It'd be strange. I don't think I'd be streaming, put it that way. 8.72.7, very hard buff. Ooh, gold, yeah. Nice. Yep. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, the buffaloes, you've got to get to that nine legendary. I have yet to see anybody show up with an eight mythical diamond. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'm pretty sure they have to be the nine. Oh, hello, what's that over there? Oh, just, wildebeest. No, I've got just animals just standing here, just going, hey, yeah, I've got, oh, I found you, our wildebeest. You pronk, just as I was about to shoot you, you sod. You're lucky. You're 100, You're lucky. 150 from our wildebeest. Our wildebeest is over there. I is coming yeah. to the wildebeest. I've got baboons or something shouting at me. And you're right, Mrs. B. We do have the best community content creators. Um, Ricky Razor, Sean Johns, Non-Inspirational Gaming, Jaxy Beard, myself, and then, of course, Zaggy DK and Flinter, who, look, honestly, don't need any... any... any anybody to tell you who they are. Everybody knows who they are. Same as the beard, it's just one of those names now. When uh, you talk about Call of the Wild, the three names first mentioned are going to be Beard, Flinter, and Zaggy. And there's our Wildebeest. Our Wildebeest. Sup? You having a bad day? Yeah, he smacked his head into the tree. He did, he, he smacked his head so hard he knocked his knocked his horns off. <laughs> <laughs> and he only had one horn anyway on one side, I don't know where the other one's gone. Got one horn on one side and no horn on the other. He's a pretty disappointing Wildebeest. Oh well, never mind. Oh well. Yeah, Beard has done it in an entirely different climate, but apparently it gets fairly hot in Canada as well. So, you know. I just See, the good thing about us is when we're in winter time, it's great because everything is all shut up and we're not freezing cold really. Well day, we're... you're not freezing cold. No. My office is like a blinking refrigerator. I have to put a heater up here so that my fingers don't go numb playing on my metal keyboard. Well, and a glass tabletop. And a glass is, tabletop, which just is To be not... honest, it's really warm today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. It's actually making me hands sweat. And a uni beast. There you go. That's the one, Mrs. B. A uni beast. Yep. He's lost his horn. <laughs> wow. Well, when I picked it up, it didn't have two horns. It only had one. Had the left horn, didn't have the right. No, oh. but you got one horn, I got the other. That's what it was. Must have been. Each got each. Oh, like, how are we gonna split this up? Okay, we'll give him a horn each. You go for that elk. You go for that. You now let level five. And Nez must have rose. Yeah, no, he did. He <laughs> he wrote. He's lost his horn. Please delete. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, I see it. Yep, I yep. see. It. Yep. And Mrs. B did exactly what he asked him. What, yeah, what he asked of her. She deleted that message. Well, good luck with that level five, my friend. Oh, yes. hey, hello. So it was cool over there. Yeah, it's a, it's a kudu. <laughs> that is so funny. And they just go, slide. Oh, so, they're sliding for yeah, you again. Yeah, all four feet on the ground. We'll just slide. Looks like they're on a rope. Looks like they're on ice. them across. Someone's pulling them down the road on the rope. Oh, we got a warthog mating call. Warning call. Warning call, sorry. Mail. Um, to be honest, under Sea Hades, my channel has blown up, man. For what for the content that I have, um, the fact that I oh, only yeah. really do a live stream every week, and that is due to the fact that I can't at this point in time do video content on Call of the Wild. My computer is not quite powerful enough anymore. Um, and if I try to do content, all I get is a very stuttery, very laggy image. I can get away with doing a live stream, so I live stream every week. Um, and as of last week, we've decided we're going to change it up a little bit. There'll be a classic stream every second week, followed by a Call of the Wild stream, so on and so forth. Um, but as for my channel blowing up, yeah, I mean, crikey, I'm at 520-something subscribers. I never thought I'd have five. 
So it's unreal. This community has taken me well above and beyond what I ever thought I I could do with um, simple channel and uh, shut up, pig, um, and everything else going on. I used to joke about it with Riki a lot of the times that you know, okay, I could do that. I could do content creation. You know, I'm I, I know how to play these games. It's a lot easier said than done. Oh, and like yes. I say, without this community, I think I'd probably be sitting under a hundred subs. Um, oh, well and truly, I don't think I'd have any. The pure fact of the but matter it's... is, is it's so easy to feel comfortable with this community and just do what we do. That yeah, I mean, obviously, I'd love to see my channel blow up past a thousand and continue on growing, but. In saying that, I also need to do a little bit more content and try and get yes. that content out there before I, yeah, sort of. That is my before it happens. Thing, yeah. Well, you're lucky. I mean, you're at the point where you can actually do recording. Yes. Once you get yourself back in organisation with your new job and everything. Everything and now that I finish at three p.m. in the afternoons, I can actually have a couple of hours every day. Start getting a bit of content out there. Yep. And, and speaking of content, I want to actually thank everyone out there. I should have actually done it on my stream yesterday, but I hit a thousand views on my missions for Varonga the other day. So thank you to everyone out there that's ever watched. That just has blown me away. It's my first video I've ever hit on over sort of five, six hundred views. So it's unbelievable. And that is awesome under Sea Hades. Well, I'm more than happy to have you at every stream, buddy. That is thrilling there's a four easy i'm gonna shoot that um and congratulations on your mythical buffalo there john yes 887 mm. they just like to play games stop pronking you stupid thing really it's just like nah i'm just gonna pronk around like a wally because you know oh would you cut it out really every time i go to hold my breath me. It pronks. It starts pronking again. Yeah. Every time. It's just standing on the spot. Just doom, 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 doom. It's trying to be a jelly bean or something. I don't know. I don't know what it thinks it is, but it's an idiot. It's an idiot. It's, it's, it's a complete moron. It really is. I've never... Wow. Being dumb. Do you want to give it a snot wheeze and see if it'll just... I don't have a snot wheeze. You didn't bring a snot wheeze? No, I didn't bring anything. Oh, now it's stopped pronking and hidden behind a tree. That's that's the way. You suck. You really yeah. do suck. Oh, I might have the snot. I'll just have a look. I've got, got? got a snot wheeze. No. That's all right. I've got the snot wheeze. I snot wheezed. It didn't, it didn't appear to stop him doing a whole lot. I don't even know where he is now. There's that him there. There he is. Ha! Take that, pronkin' bugger. 25.50. He'll die. 0.25. There you go, get him. There'd be no integrity because I shot him twice. There's a lesser kudu in that lot too. Oh, that's not surprising. Or is that a malonistic? Oh, it's oh, plus no, a pig. That's pig. pig. <laughs> Say, is wow, a lesser is it, kudu? Is, a... is it a is it a melanistic? No, it's a pig. No, it's a pig. <laughs> Damn boy, did you put your glasses on this morning? <clears throat> I have now. <laughs> oh, eight eighty seven. Yeah, it'll happen, John. Honestly, it will. Stop looking, and it'll happen without you realizing it. It'll just happen. Yep. So my first one was just a freak accident. I saw a deer, I shot a deer, I picked a deer up. It was a 950 diamond. Hello, Mr. Zaggy. Mr. DK, how are you doing? Hey, look, that pig's just just going to just stand there. That's my melanistic kudu pig. Yeah, yeah, the kudu pig melanistic springbok. Yep, that's it. Cool, no worries. It's gone now. Um, Where are we? There's a lake over here. Let's go down to the lake over here and see what's over here at the lake because we've only got about 10 minutes to go. Oh, 
And wow, it's good to see you, Zaggy. It's uh, yeah, it's a bit late for you. I was going to say that's that's a phenomenal amount of hours in the morning. Um, yeah, four Thank or five you. o'clock or something. Thank you so much for the dedication, bud. <laughs> are you on? Are you having a few drinks, Zaggy? You've seen me mess up two diamonds, not multiples. Multiple. Well, that is multiple. <laughs> both. Both of, ones, them, so both of them because you were blinking well filming me and I was nervous. I'm going to go with that. That's, <laughs> that's the reason. No, Zaggy actually took me out and we found a beautiful level 5 moose on Leighton Lakes. And I naffed the shot. And then I found another one and Zaggy helped me track it down on Medved. And I naffed that shot too. So, don't feel bad that you haven't got one, John. I've naffed two moose. Oh, Tango's been lurking too. Hey, why you not say hello, Tango? Nice, nice. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I've also naffed up a wildebeest. I think it was actually the very first gold wildebeest oh, I saw. That's a mating call. From a what? Buffalo. Buffalo. Straight to the left of north. Okay. Let's just casually creep up there and see if we can finish with a buffalo. And he's not that far away because he had big parentheses. I have revenged it oh, since, Saggy. I see him. You see him? I see him. Where, where, where you he's see him? Straight where these trees are to the left of north here. Just standing behind in the grass. You can just see his head. That okay. 100 yeah. I can't see him yet. Yes, I've uh, I've see where those two trees are in front of you. Um, there's several dozen trees in front of me. Which two trees am I looking the two for? Straight ahead that you're looking at there now. There's that one big one and then one with the branches. He's in the grass, straight in there. Okay, there's there's the big I'm one and the one with him. the branches. Okay. We've got this one just here in front of us. Yep. And then there's one just to the left of that. Yep. And well, you're he's in between those two. Okay, well, you're standing there, so I can't see. It's all right. I can still see him. Oh, he's only you... been 150 out. Well, if you can see him, then you should probably shoot him in the face. Can see him. Because I can't see him. All I can see is grass. There's grass over there and... It's... Stuff. Oh, now I see him. I think he ran away. Ah. Oh. I don't know. We'll go and find out. The one with the branches. Yeah. Yeah, he's as bad as freaking... He's as bad as none. That green bush over there next to the tree. Yeah, that's it. Hey, uh... I don't know. And that's I right, Nez. I go on a farming sim streamer mention Zaggy. There it turn up. Uh, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. He just he just shows up in the weirdest and most random places. You normally sound asleep or at a party at this time of the day, or morning, or evening, or whatever it is. Um. Hi, oh, yeah, got him. Bloody. Yeah, I got Fresh blood. Wound. Yeah, hopefully it'll get angry and come back. Get angry, Buffalo! Get angry! Come at me, Buffalo! Buffalo! But you can give it a try, Ness. You can give it a try. Like I say, I mean, you know, I mentioned his name and there he was. Bed would have shown up too if he uh, wasn't a thousand miles out in the bush with uh, absolutely no internet connections. That's a mating call again from another male. I don't think you killed this one. I don't think I did either. No. Nah. Nope, you didn't. It's running still. Oh, yeah. And Beano just subscribed. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the subscription, Beano. Welcome to the channel, Beano. Well, there you go. There was my little fat man doing his, doing his Carlton. Carlton dance. I love that dance. So I worked all my streamlabs out last night. For some reason, it just decided that it didn't want to have anything planned. Oh yeah, well, see that's weird because I never had any problems when I swapped over to Call of the Wild uh, from Call of the Wild to Classic. 
and I've now swapped from Classic back to the Call of the Wild, and yeah, there you go. Video yeah, showed no, up. I so. went into my actual Streamlabs last night, and none of the music oh. would work. Oh, I can and see buffaloes. Sort of show up. I can see buffaloes. As you, as you trees of green, and dead buffaloes too. I, don't know. I think it's dead. I think it might be dead. Might be dead. It might be dead. It might have just fell over dead. Jimmy Fallon, yes, yes, Jimmy Fallon does do the Carlton really, really well, but nobody does it as well as old mate that actually does the Carlton. He is fantastic. <laughs> I can't even think of his friggin' name now. He's on um, America's America's Funniest Home Videos. Gerard Butler? No, Gerard no. Butler. <laughs> Good grief, man. <laughs> What's his name? Um, I thought it was just Carlton. No, Carlton's what his name is in the show, in the Fresh Prince. Yeah, that's Carlton. And he did, he just fell over. Look at that. Look at the penetration from 102 meters. Both lungs, both shoulder blades, and the spine. Nice. That is so that? good. Alfonso Roberto, 338. Alfonso Roberto. That's, that's him. That's the man. Oh, Alfonso. <laughs> I'd rather be called Carlton. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Daggy. Uh, this is 50 to 75, so it might actually die. Yeah, thank you so much, buddy. Muchly appreciated. Good night, Zaggy. Have a good one. Sleep well, my friend. Sleep well. Can't believe you're up this late. Um, we'll see if we can find this this other one. I don't know if it's going to die. I think that would have been with six hard, was it? Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, that one that I just shot was a five, and the six was walking this way, so. Uh, uh, yeah, he's trotting. Yeah, because I just shot his mate. <laughs> oh, I mean, he stopped bleeding too. Yes, yes, he has, which is a shame. Uh, can't yeah. see the. Yeah. No, no, I don't think he's gonna die. I don't think he's gonna die at all. But let's keep walking this way and see if we can kill something else. We've only got a minute and a bit left to go. Where are you? Where are you, buffaloes? Hello? Buffalo, pig, anything, something charge me. Come on. Riggy's died this stream, I didn't make it. I don't have any deaths this stream. It's disappointing. Ah. It's just not on. Just not on at all. If you can't die in a stream, well, then there's just no fun to be had. Tell you what, he's a fit bloke, though. He's run halfway around Africa. That's a warning call from a Cape Buffalo. That's probably the same one. Well, I'm hoping. I'd like to finish him off for you. I don't know where he is. He's up in this bush somewhere hiding. This has to think. How does an animal that big hide in a bunch of freaking grass? What the hell? Some sick ass camouflage going on there. That beats chameleon camouflage, that does. When you're that size. Almost, almost 2,000 pounds of solid muscle and skin, and you can hide in, uh, in behind a tree. Yep. Nice. Well done. Well, I'm glad, uh, I'm glad that worked out for you, Nez. Let's see if we can find this buffalo. I'll put it out of its misery, and that'll probably end the stream. If we don't find this buffalo over the hill, then I'll probably just end the stream anyway. Because it's hit that two hour marker and I'm starting to melt into my beer crate. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see him. I see him. Is that the one? That is, no. Well, it's the one that's been shot now. It's a six hard, so that should be your one. Yet. Yet. Still on him. Yep. Yep. That was a 75 to 100% too, so I don't know. Uh, Man, what do I think of the update, says Under Sea Hates? Look, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, that's sort of why I thought I'd stream it today, to give all of those that are on console a bit of a look, because unfortunately they're missing out at the moment until such time as it gets released. Um, but no, I, I, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying it. I think the uh, Gems Bok are a fantastic animal. They look magnificent. Um, it's dead. 
And there's another one up here somewhere too. But that's all right. So yeah, no, I'm uh, I'm enjoying the update for sure. Um, it doesn't look like there's too many bugs that I've found or had any problems with. I don't know about you, Ricky. You had any bugs or problems? Nah, just seeing them sort of wander across the map without actually walking is a bit funny. But hey, what do you do? Hey, look, he's got a stick in his head. He's got a stick in his head through his horns. That's pretty unique. Um, so yeah, yeah, come and have a look. Goes right through his horns. Oh yeah, he does too. Hey, look at that. It's pretty pretty unique. This one. Um, so yeah, no, I'm happy with the update. I'm happy with the animals, and hopefully you you guys all are too. Like I say, it doesn't seem like there's too many problems, so therefore we should be fairly lucky, and it should get released soon. What are you, you shooting at buffaloes? Ah, uh, no, it's just pigs. Okay, excellent. So what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to pick this one up, and you didn't shoot at that one. Ah. Oh. That's really that's strange. A that's, that's a different one again. But I'm going to leave it all at that. Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's been an absolutely fantastic stream. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you once again for popping along, Ricky. Oh, no worries. Always a pleasure. Always fun. And like I say, hopefully, with the way things are looking, it shouldn't be long, and this should be released full on for everybody. And then you too can all come out and have a go at the gems box. As you can see, the buffalo are a little bit easier to knock over now. They're not so bulletproof. So thank you all for coming along. And uh, we will catch you all on the next one. See ya.